IIRDS, which is short for Intelligent Information Request and Delivery Standard, was developed by the TCOM Working Group Information 4.0 over the past two years. The group's objective was to establish a standard that covers the request as well as the delivery of intelligent information between companies, organizations, and individuals. In the age of Industry 4.0 and Smart Factories, this standard opens up new methods of advanced technical communication. For example, instead of a user having to read through a handbook to find the information needed in a particular situation, IIRDS enables you to deliver information that is precisely tailored to the specific moment in time and use case. The standard has steadily grown in importance over the last few years in the world of technical communication. To keep pace with this rapid development, the IIRDS Consortium was founded in January 2018. The consortium has taken over from the initial working group and is committed to the future advancement of the standard. The larger structure will have a positive effect on the future development of the standard's potential. The 25 international founding members include system manufacturers, industrial companies, and consultancies. The consortium is open to all organizations interested in participating in the further development of the standard. What are the benefits of being a consortium member? As a member of the consortium, you will always have the most up-to-date information regarding which steps to take next and will also be able to actively shape the standard. You will benefit from the exchange of insights and know-how with other experts and decision makers, and you can participate in the technical decision-making process. Working within the consortium will help you to improve your competencies in the field of intelligent information delivery. And since you are helping to develop the standard, your organization will also be among the first to implement new releases as soon as they are launched. This puts you on the cutting edge when it comes to the Internet of Things. How is the consortium organized internally? The consortium is a focal point for expertise. It is a strong community dedicated to the advancement of technical communication. TCOM fills the roles of office as well as leading member. Various types of membership are available and different responsibilities and institutions have been established. This allows your company to provide input in its key competency areas. At the annual meeting, full members participate in making decisions regarding all organizational and structural questions. The steering committee, on the other hand, supervises the technical work of the consortium. Working groups carry out the actual technical work. All members can cast their votes in technical ballots and make decisions about what will be implemented. Companies can choose between full membership, contributing membership, and sponsorship. As a contributing member, you can send experts to working groups and vote in technical ballots. In addition, the names of contributing members are published on our website and in our publications. As a full member, you have the same rights as a contributing member, but you can also participate in annual meetings and be elected to the steering committee. The key difference is that full members have additional influence at the management level. You gain the ability to purchase up to six votes, and this allows you to increase your influence. University members acquire the same rights as contributing members. The only difference is that they represent a different type of institution. All sponsors of IIRDS are named on our website and in our publications. Would you like more information? By becoming a member of the IIRDS Consortium, you will be a pioneer in one of the most promising and exciting fields of our time, Industry 4.0. As the emerging standard for technical communication, IIRDS will continue to grow during the coming years. Join our community and be part of this development from the very beginning. For more information on how to become a member and on the different membership options, please visit iirds.tcom.de or contact us directly at comment.iirds.tcom.de.